Every game engine revolves around abstractions you use to build your applications. In Godot, a game is a tree of nodes that you group together into scenes. You can then wire these nodes so they can communicate using signals. In this video, you will get an overview of four essential concepts to get started with Godot. Scenes, nodes, the scene tree, and signals. Learning these will give you a sense of how the engine works and how you will create games with it. You will get to use all of them in practice in upcoming videos. In Godot, you break down your game into reusable scenes. A scene is like a character, a weapon, a menu in the user interface, a single house, an entire level, or anything you can think of. Godot's scenes are flexible. They fill the role of both what's called prefabs and scenes in some other game engines. You can also nest scenes. For example, you can put your character in a level by dragging and dropping the character file into the level scene. You coded a weapon and you want to attach it to your character, you can drag and drop the weapon onto the character to add it as a child of it. That process of adding your character to the level is called instancing. Scenes are blueprints you can reproduce as many times as you want, be it in the editor or by writing code. A scene is composed of one or more nodes. Nodes are your game's smallest building block that you arrange into trees. Here is an example of a simple character's scene definition. It comprises four nodes, a kinematic body 2D node named character, a sprite, a camera 2D, and a collision shape 2D. Notice that the node names end with 2D. That is because this is a 2D scene. At this point, you might say, Nathan, you just told me that this thing you see in the editor was a scene, but now you're saying it's a node, and you would be right. Here, you are seeing the contents of the character scene. It is a blueprint we can use to make multiple characters in our game. When we use it, like when we create an instance of our character in the level, Godot presents it as if it was a node, hiding the scene's hierarchy and its contents. Notice that camera clap icon next to it. This is what's telling us that we are dealing with a scene instance and not a node. The important part is that scenes are made of multiple nodes and nodes are the smallest building blocks of your Godot game. Godot provides an extensive library of base node types you can combine and extend to build more powerful ones. 2D, 3D or user interface, you will do most things with these nodes. You don't have to worry about how you create nodes or scenes at this point, you will learn all that in upcoming videos. All your game's nodes and scene instances come together in the scene tree, literally a tree of scene instances. We just saw that the content of the scene, like our character, was a bunch of nodes. As a result, your Godot games will be a big node tree. But it's easier to think of your project in terms of scenes, as nodes are really bite-sized components, while scenes represent more meaningful game entities like characters, weapons, a level, an inventory, and more. We have one last concept to talk about, signals. Nodes emit signals when some event occurs. This feature allows you to make nodes communicate without hard wiring them in code. Gives you a lot of flexibility in how you structure your scenes. Signals are Godot's version of the observer pattern, a technique commonly used in many programming languages and frameworks. For example, buttons emit a signal when you press them. You can connect to this signal to run code in reaction to a button press, like selecting an item in an inventory or making a choice in a dialog system. Other built-in signals can tell you when two objects collided, when a character or monster entered a given area, and much more. You can also define new signals tailored to your game by writing code. And that's it for our quick look at four essential Godot concepts. When working with Godot, you will use them all the time. Here's a super quick recap. Nodes are your game's smallest building block. You combine them to create scenes that you instantiate and nest into the scene tree. In programming, to instantiate means making reproductions of a blueprint or template. You can then use signals to make nodes react to other nodes events, like a weapon touching an enemy's hitbox. We are getting to the end of this video and you probably have many questions. Bear with me as you will get many answers throughout the Getting Started series. In the next part, we'll go through the editor's interface to get a good sense of how it works. This will make the process of creating your first game from scratch much smoother later on.
Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next parts. If you are impatient to get more Godot content, we created a lot already and you can get a selection of our best tutorials in your inbox by going to our website. You can find the link in the description below. Enter your email and we'll send you tutorials.